here from Party Friends and I'm here again to do you another balloon modelling tutorial. Uh, we're all getting a little festive here, it's on the run up to the holidays, so what I'm going to be teaching you guys to make today is a balloon reindeer. So it's really straightforward, if you've done my balloon dog tutorial it's very similar to that um, in terms of the way that we make it, just the ears are subtly different. So um, if you have done that, then you're already a step ahead of everybody else. If you haven't, that's okay, because I'm going to be going through this step by step with you guys as well. I'll place a link to my balloon dog tutorial as well down there. Um, if you do enjoy this, do check that out as well. Now, to create your balloon reindeer, you'll need a 260 balloon. I'm going with brown here, you can choose grey, white, in fact you can go with a pink reindeer if you really want a pink reindeer. Um, I'm going with brown 260 and of course you'll need a balloon pump as well. Uh, we need to blow it up about halfway, that's around about five pumps with your balloon pump or feel free to measure it as well if you'd like. There we go, good. Tie it off, just like that. Just give them a, a bit of a squeeze all over, make sure that things are nice and squishy. So let's get started. If you haven't ever done balloon twisting before, balloon modelling, um, then the very best technique to use, it's really straightforward, all you have to do is pinch and twist, as simple as that, and you create a seam. When you are going along and twisting, always make sure that you're twisting in the same direction for every bubble that you create. Um, that'll all make sense later on as we create more bubbles, you don't want to hold on to them all. Um, so if you always twist in the same direction, I always twist back towards myself. Um, the first bubble we need to create for his little nose needs to be a couple of inches, um, about two inches like so. I'm going to go about there-ish. So there we go. Pinch and twist, and we create our first bubble, a couple of inches long. Now, best thing to do, place that between your fingers, just like that. Um, you can even place it in this last one if you want. Ooh, a bubble there. Always place, place it in your last fingers as well if you want. That way it leaves your um, thumb and your index finger free to do twisting as we go along. So our first bubble, his nose, a couple of inches long. The next bubble you need to create, give it a bit of a squeeze is about an inch long, so like that, just a small one, these are going to be his antlers. After this, you need to create a, a sort of circular bubble, about a half inch bubble, give it a squeeze, pinch and twist, little circular bubble just like that. Now as I mentioned earlier, if you're always twisting back towards yourself, you won't have to hold all of these bubbles as we go along, because we're going to create two more after this, so if you're always twisting in the same direction, top marks for you because you'll have this effect right here. Um, the next one you need to create is another one of these, so we're doing a se second antler but we're going to do it backwards. So you need to create another small half inch bubble, do a squeeze, pinch and twist, there we go, another small bubble there and finally we need to create another one of these inch long bubbles here at the end, give it a squeeze, pinch and twist and see if it's the same length, mine is not, there we go, pinch and twist. That looks around about the same length to me. There we go. So at this point you should be able to fold it in half like that and have all the bubbles around about the same length. So these bottom two are the same length and these middle two are the same length as well. Because we're about to fold them together. Now this looks a lot more complicated than it is. It's actually really straightforward but it's kind of difficult to show. Um, so take his nose and the rest of his uh, balloon in one hand and then take his antlers in the other, okay? So we're going to twist these two together along this seam here and here. Oops, got to throw it around a little bit, there we go. So we're going to twist them along that middle seam. All you have to do is turn it like that, it's as straightforward as that. Give it a couple of twists so it doesn't come undone. Turn it the other way around, let go of his nose and there we go. 
all done. So now you've got the first half, you've got his nose there and his antlers on top. This should be what yours looks like. I'll actually put it in the camera so you can see it in shot. There we go. Here we have our little uh, reindeer head. So, first bit done and the most complicated bit done. The rest of it's really straightforward after that. So, I like to give my balloon animals a little bit of a neck at the top so they don't look like they're really stressing out about Christmas. So just a tiny, tiny bubble. You absolutely don't have to do this if you don't want, I just like to create it. Um, so it's a really small bubble, um, tiny little pinching twist there. Place it between your fingers again, just like we did at the start. Now we're going to create his legs. Give it a squeeze. His legs are going to be a few inches long, maybe three, four inches. A bit longer than you would, say, a balloon dog's legs. So around about that length. Bit of a sausage there. You want to create two of these of around about the same length. Pinch and twist. There we go. Two sausages around the same length and his little neck at the top there between my fingers. You're now going to twist these together. So these two need to be the same length. When you do that they should match. Like that. Okay. So we're going to twist again in this seam. So this seam here that you see just underneath his neck and just before the rest of his body we're going to twist those two together to create his legs. So take his neck and his head in one hand and his legs in the other and then very simply twist them together. Twisty twist. Just like that. Set them the right way around. There we go. Good. So there we have his front legs and his head and his antlers. So give the rest of this balloon a bit of a squeeze, send some air down to that end. With the rest of this balloon I need to be creating a little tail and two more legs of about this length and of course his body. So I don't like to say specifically that his body needs to be such and such a, an amount long because balloons are all different, everything looks different when it comes to balloons. So it's really a, a game of um, saying okay I need a tail about that length and then sort of two um, legs. So I'm going to twist around about here-ish for the end of his body. So give that a twist right there, pinch and twist, place it between your fingers like we did at the beginning, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to do his back two legs, nearly finished. Give it a pinch and a twist. They need to be about the same length as his front legs. And the last one, our last twist, Give it a bit of a squeeze first, send that air to the end, and pinch and twist. There we go. So we have two, two legs of about the same length, two sausages, and then a tiny little ball at the end here for his tail. So again we're going to twist the seams together, we're going to twist the seam after his body and before his tail together to create his legs. So take his body and his tail in one hand, the legs in the other. And all you have to do, give it a twist round. Give it a, a good couple of twists. You don't want your reindeer's bum to come apart. There's nothing worse than your reindeer's bum falling to pieces. So there we go. There we have it. One finished reindeer. Straighten his head up a little bit. You can absolutely do um, some, some decorating on his face. A bit like I have done there. This is how I normally do my faces. Um, some little eyes with some eyelashes and a little reindeer nose and a little mouth as well underneath there. That is your reindeer finished. Create as many as you want, create a whole sleigh full of reindeer if you'd like. I've created quite a few here. Um, if you like this video, hit subscribe, like, thumbs up, give us a comment, um, send us your pictures, let us know how your your twisting has gone. It's always nice to see people's creations. I'd love to see those. Um, I'll lay, I'll, I'll place our social media links at the end as well, so that you guys can follow us and get all of our updates. We're going to be doing lots more videos like this, so hang around, get some updates from us, and, and check those out as well. But that's it from me for now. Again, Laura from Party Friends. Nice to see you all. I'm going to get my. Uh, my sleigh full of reindeer all here for you. There we go. So from me and all of the reindeer, have a very happy holidays and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.